a lot of my students ask this question that how much python is actually needed in data analytics and to answer this question i have created this video so hello everyone and a very warm welcome to ws cube tech my name is ayushi jain and as i said we are going to discuss about that how much python is needed in data analytics see python is needed python is a basic skill that one should know if they are data analyst why they should know is because it will help you build your logics it will help you build your aptitude you will learn the basics of everything not just of uh, plotting the data not just of transforming and cleaning the data but everything you will learn everything from the very basics it will build that foundation for you which you will be needing when you will be reaching on the higher level so when you are working at a higher post you should also have good command on the basics your basics should be clear that's why python is needed but now how much python is needed python is needed uh, in a very little amount so you should know the basics of python in the basics the different categories are like variables operators conditional statements loops list functions tuples dictionaries and sets so these are a few topics that you should know from the basics of python now why you should know all of these because uh, a lot of time in the interview rounds the most of your questions from the technical round are asked from these part of python so you can uh, learn these things also you can work on the questions of uh, these topics so there are many websites you'll find you will also find this playlist of 100 programs of python which will help you work on different questions so you should know the basics of python after learning basics of python these basics are important for the technical round also these basics are important so that you can work on the actual libraries that are used in python for data analysis so some of these libraries are pandas so you will be using pandas a lot for data analysis so all your column transformation all your data cleaning all your data manipulation all your grouping by of data finding aggregate values everything you'll find over here in pandas when it comes to handling the data then the next library that you might be using is numpy you won't be using that much you won't be using it that much it is used for mathematical and scientific calculation if you want to calculate something real quick you can use numpy so whenever there is a part of using formulas you can use numpy over there and then there are visualization libraries like matplotlib seaborn plotly and there are many more you can choose any one or two of them you can uh, definitely start with matplotlib why because it covers all the basics of different charts so there won't be any bi tool i haven't seen any bi tool which has as many charts as python has so they might have it in the background so in the background they might have a whole list where you have to download each of them that is fine power bi we have power bi service from where we can download the charts but even on the display they have limited charts but in matplotlib you have plenty of charts you can plot and why these plenty of charts are here because they will clear your basics here that what kind of chart is plot in what kind of situation suppose if you want to find the mean of your categories you can use a bar plot when you want to plot a data which has numerical and numerical data in it like let's say you want to check the, you want to know about the annual salary of any person based on their age so both the both the columns over here are numeric columns so in that case you can use scatter plot and it will actually justify your data so it is very important to choose a chart which justifies your data a lot of uh, people make this mistake that they create any chart for any kind of data which is not good which is not a good visualization and good visualization comes with a good knowledge of charts as well that what kind of charts are used in what kind of situation a lot of people use pie chart when they have 10 to 15 values no a pie chart should be used when you have 4 to 5 a donut chart should be used when you have 4 to 5 different categories that is how uh, that is how you will learn about the basics of charts so matplotlib will help you a lot with learning about how charts are plotted in different kinds of condition if you want to detect the outliers you use box plot but you want to detect the outliers but you also want to see the density of your data near the medians or anywhere you want to see the density of your data you can use while in plot you can use histograms to check the density of your data so how much data is occurring at any point that you can check with the help of histogram so there are many charts which you can use over here they give you a lot of learnings so i will also i will recommend over here that 
start with the basics of python work on the different questions you may you may start building with uh, small different projects as well very mini tiny projects like a calculator or small library management system you have created without using a database or you can create a supermarket billing system a theater billing system you can create something like that with the basics of python once you have covered all the basics of python which will hardly take you 10 days then you can move towards the libraries of python these libraries can take you 20 to 25 days but these will build basics for you so all your basics will be covered over here so how in power bi see what happens in power bi or tableau is that you have the data with that data you have directly plotted a graph right but you don't know what is going on behind that that how that data is breaking into different categories and finding the aggregate values for you but in python you have group by statement which create the summarize summarize data for you it could be breaking of your data into different categories based on maximum value minimum value into sum into count into anything so you learn the basics from python and then you you can build your uh, foundation over here and then you can move to different tools also a lot of people say that python is not required for the data for in the field of data analytics which is i would say in my experience is not true see uh, a job description varies from uh, different jobs to jobs so there will be jobs where you will be finding that uh, they only need a bi developer they don't need someone who who knows how to work on excel they don't need someone who how, who knows how to work on python or even on sql they just want someone who knows how to work on power bi so that will be a power bi developer and it is also again a jobs that falls in the category of data analytics right so in that case you don't need all these three skills somewhere you might need only excel and python and not other tools somewhere you might only need sql and python somewhere you only need sql so there are different jobs and these jobs requirements are different but for you the basics should be clear so your basics a python is something that will clear all your basics let it be related to visualization let it be related to manipulation let it be related to the cleaning of your data python will clear it all for you so i would definitely recommend someone if someone asks me that should i learn python if i want to move ahead in the field of data analytics i will definitely recommend python to that person because it will build the build uh, because it will build the foundation for you not just that but also as many skills as you know there will be more scope of applying into different jobs so if you only know power bi you can only apply to the jobs which includes power bi developer or someone who is actually asking for someone who knows how to work on power bi but if you are, if you want to open your uh, area where you can apply different uh, apply for different jobs which are also looking for excel which are also looking for sql for which are also looking for someone who knows how to work with python in sql then in that case you need to learn all these basic technologies and i would consider python as one of the basic technologies that a data analyst should know so to summarize this i will again tell you that uh, what all things we need so we need the basics of python which includes variables list tuples for loops conditional statements and all the things that i have told you previously and then we need to learn and we need to work on the libraries which could be numpy pandas matplotlib seaborn or other visualization libraries like plotly or qcharts and there are many uh, different visualization libraries which you can use so this was all for this video where i have told you that how much python is needed if you want to become a data analyst and only this much python is needed you don't need to learn more and more of python yes definitely one good thing about learning python is also that that if you want to dive into different fields like after you have become a data analyst you want to go towards the field of data science towards the field of machine learning towards the field of artificial intelligence the python is going to help you a lot so learning python will never disappoint you so learn python for data analytics and this much python is sufficient for data analytics so i hope guys that you like this video and for more such content follow our channel wsq tech